Greetings, travelers. Welcome back to genital jousting. This is your right. This is your left. And this is a girl with a dick. Fuck her. Come on. Wait, what? Ow! Oh god, have you guys ever seen that video of the freaking pizza delivery guy that gets hit by a car and then while he's in the air he gets hit again? I think there was also a movie, I think like with Matt Damon or something. Or Brad Pitt, one of those guys that's like, he gets like, ping-ponged. Yep, and there goes that. What the hell? Just cross the road! Yeah! See, I'm smarter than you. School? Why are there saw blades at school? Yeah! Dick face. That's not nut. Did someone put a de- There's a skeleton in in my locker. Just go through the door on the left. See? Sure. Not go through the door on the right. Okay, well, let's go through the door on the left this time. You're a dick. Oh, God, the, the head made it out all the way out here. Climb the bleachers. Hi, I remember you, Impressor. Yeah, I can bounce a ball. What's up? Oh, you don't like that I can bounce a ball? What's wrong? No one will ever love you. Oh, not this shit again! How many times do I have to say as no? As soon as John woke up, the mirror called to him. His abs looked like a pack of vacuum-sealed hot dogs. Tasty. Jim had remade John into a sculpted Adongus. Adongus? Is it weird that I was almost expecting, was like, when he gets beefed up? finally everything a peen should be. Successful, traveled, and photogenic. It was time for his morning pre-gym workout. Like, I'm just gonna be honest. Hit the treadmill. Where's the treadmill? Like, I, I expected... Oh, go away. I expected him to be veiny, is what I'm trying to get at. Sure. Come on. I need the reunion invitation caught John's eye. Come on. No. Okay, fuck that. He read it again, and again. Stunned. He'd gotten the date wrong. Very wrong. What? The reunion was tonight. What? Tonight! What? Oh, shit. He'd have to go alone. <laughs> they'd all be there, and they'd look at John, and they'd know he was still a loser. No, there was still time. <laughs> John needed a date fast. He'd have to go out. Thank you. 
He'd have to make an impact. John had to dress his best, only better. Call me Albert. There had to be someone single and desperately alone in the city. Someone besides John. He just had to find them. John went straight to the nearest bar. Sure, it was still early, but he couldn't waste any time. There must be some day drinkers he could pick up. These are assholes. Why is everyone in this city an it asshole? It was a classy place. Even oh, the vibe was high quality. Oh, that actually is making my stomach churn. The bouncer looked like a hagfish that had taken up lacrosse. I'm just gonna go in anyway. John stepped into the bar and saw her. The answer to the question, what was John's purpose? Her, loving her, being with her, taking her to the reunion. Hi. Their eyes met and John knew she felt the same. Gladys did not feel the same, but John wasn't going to give up on their life together. A couple of drinks would loosen her up to their destiny. Wow, Gladys was not an amateur when it came to drinking. John had to keep up. Come on. It was working. Gladys was definitely warming up to John. Hey, you get enough beers in someone, never anyone will think you're attractive. John's bladder was very full. It sloshed audibly as he moved. Okay. I like how there's only one bathroom. Oh, God. Someone had to go. <laughs> He's doing coke. It's a dick doing coke. But I found a stall. Holy balls. John had never felt such relief. Oh. You guys having fun in there? Can I join? Hey, buddy. The controls for this game are so... Can't. Can't shove it back in. Oh god, I bent the friggin' stall. All right, well. If only John could wash off the embarrassment like he washed off the urine. Well, at least I washed my hands. John looked around. Gladys was gone. John cursed his petite bladder. A couple of cold beers would cool down John's frustration. Wait, what? What? How many beers do I have to drink? The oh. cockpit was on autopilot. Time for John to hit the next bar. I, I don't know what was going on there. The thing was. Kind John's of anxiety had up. sunk under the surface of the beer he'd drunk. While his confidence was floating high, this was the place he'd find love. Tea baggers? It was empty, except for the bartender. Clearly, this bar's only special was unhappy hour. Two 
for one was a good deal, though, and so far the beer had lifted John's spirits. Another four would make him feel twice as good. gave John a smile that set his heart hammering. He Hi. had to impress her. All the money. Just take it all. Go, where you go? What? what was so offensive about offering a big tip in exchange for a date? John had thought bartenders loved tips. He needed to find mm. a better club. One with a vibe. Four hours, 52 minutes till reunion. John was well. drawn by the pulse of the music. It pulled him forward like a moth to a fiery death. John was running out of oh, time to find man. a date and prove that he wasn't a loser. Um. Oh, let's see, where the fuck am I? I couldn't move. Dancing, the real way to flirt, the way of animals, of wild sexual creatures, John strutted and shook his booty. With booze buzzing round his head, John found himself on the dance floor. Everyone was up close and sweaty. John was exhilarated. He felt alive. Nope. John was working himself up to try a little bump and grind. Hey. Hi. It was a moment out of a movie. John alone on the dance floor with a gorgeous oh, <laughs> penis. Their sexual chemistry Hi. exploding. She moved away, coyly. John could tell when someone was playing hard to get. He let her marinate in the tension before making his move. I didn't even notice that they lit up. Yeah! I know how to dance! John wasn't taking no for an answer. But her boyfriend was! <laughs> Some people have no sense of fun. But John was certain the next bar would be different. The next bar wasn't different. Oh my god, stay John cool. couldn't understand why everyone was so sensitive. Wait, what? It was like no what, one what? wanted to have a good time. Club chub. Like no one had a sense of humor. Dixies. John had meant that as a compliment. When did the Morning world get Lord. so uptight? John's ego was as bruised as his shaft. He had to admit it. He'd failed. He was where he belonged, in a creepy murder alley covered in trash. Yep, I'm just gonna stay here. John would have to go through the garbage to get out. Oh, that's gross. Yeah. Ugh. Oh. Oh. oh, it's so moist, but oh. textured. It smells like rotting dick yogurt. Oh, oh. John's misery was sour in his mouth. He needed a drink to wash it down. There was still one bar he hadn't been kicked out of yet. One hour until reunion. Oh, God. John had cleaned himself up as much as possible. He really needed a mint. Oh, hey, look. Come on. 
nailed it. Come on. Really? John let out his anger, his frustration. Life was a shitty joke. It wasn't fair. Fuck. You want to mess with John? Do you? Wait, what? Oh, fuck! I think I stuck in my ass. This is what you get. Fuck you, you fucking thing. You had one job. That's how you get what you want. Violence. Ugh, menthol. Ugh. Couldn't be spearmint. I don't know mint. Like, there's peppermint, spearmint. What is the mint that's inside, like, like, Angus candy? Or, like, mint chip ice cream? That's the only mint I like. And then small John doses. wanted the strongest drink they had. Rough night? Someone asked John. He hadn't noticed her when he came in, but now he did. It really drinks. had been a rough night for John, but he felt a little better that someone cared enough to ask. It was a pity they were only sort of attractive. Hey, sort of attractive. But is destiny than not attractive. had given John a second chance. John made his move. Unfortunately, according to Alice and her boyfriend Chadrick, it was the wrong move. Oh, fuck. oh I was gonna start punching him. Oh, I can. Chadrick threw John into the alley and followed, making unoriginal but still terrifying threats. Get him, John! Oh my god! I can't watch. I can. Kinda have to. Don't hold back! Give it to him! Brutal. Ouch! Ow. Yes! Yes! John had survived. No, he'd won. He'd won. He'd won. He wasn't a loser. And there was the proof lying in a bruised, bloody heap. John didn't need a date to the reunion. He needed to go over there and beat the free cum out of those dicks. High school reunion, the perfect time to teach someone a lesson. Yeah, all right, let's get out of here. Like, actually get out. Yep, I can. Come on. Learn. Fuck you guys. <laughs> I'm sick of dealing with your shit. <laughs> the doors of the school. A sight John had dreaded every day for years. And now he was going willingly Classical through them. Eight. Unafraid. Fueled by years of unprocessed anger fermented in loneliness. John was back. Yeah. Fuck some shit up. The chickens were coming home to roost, and they were all cocks. Yeah. Hi. These were the peanlets he'd grown up with. Now with jobs and marriages and beer bellies, John was surprised at how ordinary they had all turned out. He spotted them. John's tormentors. Time for them to feel the wrath. TMDK or KDMT. Whatever. I, I don't know what that means. Get in there! Come on. That's the stuff, John. Good thing I don't have a health bar or else I'd probably lose this. Oh! Not the best. How do you like that? Fuck you. Dodge! Dodge! Ow! Uh. Oh, Dan. His name's actually Dan. <laughs> Shake off the pain, that buddy. That would explain why I've been hitting Fuck you, Todd. 
Ha! Who's Fuck a you, loser Craig. now? Who? Who's the other guy though? I wonder what the M stood for. Don't let up! Ha! John had won. He'd won. No one could say John was a loser now. Except every other person in the building. John's primal joy faded as he saw how the other penises looked at him. Uh. Not like a winner. Like he was trash. John tumbled down the steps, hitting every bruise on his length and his ego. It was her, Harmony. She had been at the reunion. She'd seen it all and followed John out to laugh at him more? No, to see if he was all right. Why did that hurt John so much? This was John's chance to ask her why all those years ago she'd said to him, no one will ever love you. Harmony stared at John in shock. You. How could John not know why? Didn't John remember what he'd done? Wait, what did I do? What did I do? Was I a dick? <laughs> Was I a dick? <laughs> yeah, I know how to play this game now. I don't want to get another apple, though. Oh. Oh. Hi. Hey. Now, what did I do? Did I grow into a, mo a dick monster? I was too pushy. So no one will ever love me because I'm a giant mutated like dick monster six hours later. What? There was nothing Sam enjoyed more than the fresh air of an early morning. The dew sparkling on the grass, the music of the trees, space to think. But I'm currently all alone. Sam stared at the view. Oh, peaceful. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Friggin. <laughs> Maybe there's a family member around. Why why am I playing it as what is in Tom? What was that smell? It made Sam's eye water. Oh puke. It was John, oh, John, passed out and crusted with vomit and regret. No way. 
God. John was awake this is and tolerably awkward. clean. Sam tried to be gentle and invited John to join him on his walk. Come on, follow me, John. You need to, you need to go for a walk. And stay out of my butt. Sam coaxed John along. It was like herding compost. Wake the fuck up, John. This is weird. God, you're so slow. John couldn't answer Sam's questions yet. How had he ended up such a wreck? Oh. Wake up. You really, you need to freaking lay off the booze, buddy. Like, what the hell happened? Here. We'll, bo we'll buy some hot dogs. And then not eat it. And we'll give us some money to, like, here. That'll make you feel better. We'll give us some money to homeless shelter and whatever, Red Cross. Even though they're a bunch of dick bags sometimes. Yeah, give money to these guys too. Even that bit of senseless destruction couldn't cheer John up. Oh my god. Sam saw his friend's misery. He suggested they keep going. Spurt feeling. Oh god, he's really spurting his feelings out. John wanted to know something. Why didn't anyone love him? As soon as he said it, he felt like a softy, whining about his feelings. John, didn't you know? Love was next to you all along. Called your hand. But Sam didn't make fun of him. Sam asked him to go on. And so John told him the whole story about how hard he'd made himself, and how unfair it felt, and everything he'd done. Oh, ow, 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 Tom, help, Tom, help! I've caught myself on a fork. <laughs> Sorry, that was disgusting, I had to... I had to get the fuck out of there. Saying it out loud, John realized he'd sounded like an asshole. But he'd done everything right. Why didn't he get what he wanted? Why didn't John get love? Okay. Wanting someone isn't the same as loving them, said Sam. You figure it out, John. But you have to keep trying. Two out of twelve. I wonder how many of those I've missed. Oh my god, seriously. Alright, just straight line. How about a bike ride? Sam asked. Oh my god, a bike ride with God! John struggled to get his balance, but Sam told him not to give up. John kept trying, getting better as they went. Yeah! Oh my god. Ollie! Sure. Right through. This is really hard to control. My my hand eye is just like I keep wanting to like. Oh, hey. careful, Tom. Eh, man, Tom's good. All right, run over the children.
we just pausing? We are made for each other. Mm. Okay, the magic's gone. John and Sam stopped and looked at the sunset. For a moment, John let himself be quiet and listen to the world and look at how beautiful it could be. Man, global warming sucks. Poor penguins. Yeah. Life can be hard, more. said Sam. Run. But that doesn't mean we have to be. Kill ourselves now. Sculpt your feelings. What? Oh, pick flowers. Yay! Ow! Therapy. <laughs> We're bad at our job. Robin Scott. I praise her in this game. Because, like, she. Ah, uh, look after your pet swan. No dogs allowed. Well. Ow! She really, really gave a shit. Like, really, really gave a shit. <sighs> Open the lady across the Poetry, but masterpiece. But yeah, she really, really like. I don't know who she was to this project, but she gave her all. She really cared and really made this like. She made this special. John's a big soft. This, this was great. This was great. Oh. Oh, boy. Sorry. I'm sorry I was a dick. What? A better John. I don't. I think that's it. This was great. I really enjoyed this. It, it was stupid, but it told a rather funny story. Yeah. This was definitely worth getting. And I think there's a few other possibilities that you can get through doing stuff. But, um, yeah. And this might not be the last time you guys ever see this game on my channel. Just saying. One day. Uh, yeah. I would love, I love how it's like online multi-ping. But that's it.
that was it for Channel Jousting. I hope you guys enjoyed this series. I did. See you guys for whatever comes next. Bye-bye.